Hello world and thank God it's Friday and of course this is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa where we dish out the biggest entertainment stories. I'm a fellow Ocean Care and I'm never here alone. I've got the smart, classy and sassy Awari too and the knowledgeable Danny Ak. What's good guys? The smart and sassy, I like that. And classy. And classy. That's what's up. Thank you. you Flatatious, <laughs> bodacious. That's you. <laughs> no, that's, that's not, you. No, that's you. So, Benny, um, we shared um, what we'll be doing for the weekend. Oh, so, yeah. what would you be doing this weekend? This weekend, mm -hmm. from this, from this, from this Friday night, mm -hmm. I got, I got a series of party to attend, private parties to attend. Oh, to, yeah, uh, yeah. So, oh, shit. Um, but I'm not part of the. Dirty December gang? No, I don't do, I don't oh, okay, do that. Okay, so no dirty December. Yeah, just... You don't call it dirty December, but... I don't even partake in... If I saw a timetable of what dirty December entails. I'm like... Oh, yeah, different oh, yeah? shows. Yeah. That but not even shows. Exactly. I mean, you know, like the... The things you do. Yeah, the things they do are like, mm. really? This is what Dirty December is all about? Please, can you share that with me? So let me know if I've done it. If, if my like, December has been dirty I've enough. I've done everything already. <laughs> I want a muddy, dirty December. Like, you <laughs> have that already. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, for me, it just, I'll still keep it cool and sane, but just have me a good time. Yeah, obviously, we all you keep know. it cool and sane, but we get dirty when we Because it's pretty much cliche and basic. What people just do, go party, mm -hmm. party after party. Party yeah. after party. You know, <laughs> get some drunk, big true stuff. Get drunk. But get, I don't know why people laid, wait for December I mean, to do that because it's it's, it's just it's an, I mean, it's it's an just everyday boring. life for That's some it. people, you know? Some <laughs> yeah. of us don't do we don't wait till December to no, have a day. I think that my year has been really dirty then. All right, now, so we need to um, start with the first story for this episode, which is on controversial actress Tonta DK, who is under fire for staging photo that shows her speaking at a conference in Dubai. The actress is presently in Dubai and attended a networking event at Model University alongside some of her friends and other attendees. Now, the gist is she went on to share photos of herself presenting at the networking event, but a closer look at the photo indicates that Tonta DK was actually presenting to empty chairs. Sigh. Sigh. <laughs> because I don't know what to believe. After the story came out, she shared photos of her. Um, I mean, they, they presented to her um, a certificate of attendance. Attendance, yeah. And the school acknowledged that she came to share her experience. So now no, I'm one person said, thank you, Tonto DK, for your experience. And it looked like they were having a one-on-one -on -one chat for sharing no, no, your no. experience. Oh, so, um, but it was I can... on the school's um, page. Yeah, she, nobody's disputing the fact that she was at that event, but was she part of the speakers? That's what we need to know. Well, from the um, the way I saw the post, it felt like she was part of the speakers, but that's not even to say that surely she was part of the speakers. Yeah, because I mean, there's, there's what we call damage control. You know mm. what I mean? What if after all this, she just went to talk to somebody that you guys need to do this for me? What mm. if? Well, um, basically, I'm just wondering why a lot of people are taking this person out because I saw like um, three other people that were uh, that took the same picture and the chairs looked empty as well. Then I saw the one they the the one they compared a picture with, and you could tell that a lot of people attended this event. Yeah. And then, so how come she had empty chairs? So it's really confusing. And mm -hmm. then knowing Tonto DK, she'd have probably said something. But right now, she's just putting posts out there to just, but she's not saying it like, oh, guys, come on, I was there. This was what happened. The Tonto, you, we know, will come out to explain. You understand? But she's not saying anything. She's just oh, well, maybe she's just there. waiting for... Um, the right time. The right, no, not like the right time, but she's just waiting till she makes a vlog. You know she has a vlog here. She's, mm. She just probably wants to make a video then, and then so, pe this. so people will come and watch. You know, you know Tonto likes attention, and she will do anything to just chase clout and all of that. So maybe she's just keeping her cool till she's ready to drop the video, then everybody will now want to go and watch. What's she take on this stuff? I don't even know why this is a topic for discussion in the first place. Tonto mm. leaves for the drama. She creates mm. drama. Mm. And she leaves. She relishes the drama. Mm. Um, it's possible maybe there was an audio conference. She 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 did something. It was audio. I don't mean audio like audio for gazing, like mm -hmm. really maybe an audio conference. She 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 gave a speech that she sent over for them to play or something. But no, she, she was no, she was there. She was actually there. It was in Dubai. She was so there. I don't understand what the pressure is. Um, is Tonto going through like midlife crisis? Hmm. You know, because she's because trying to stay relevant. I think that's. I that's think she's just trying to prove a point that well, I'm so relevant. To who? 
to so everybody. You know, Especially you know, when if she's you are if you are relevant, you don't need to prove nothing. People 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 will acknowledge your relevance. And so she's trying too hard. And people. I don't know what it is. Um, I don't know if it's if it's an oversized ego or a lack of it. Mm. Because when you begin to find yourself do things just to impress and prove a point to people, mm -hmm. something you, it's, it's, it's a deeper issue to me, I think it's a than what we complex. see. Yeah. That's, a, it's, that's what I'm saying. It's a deeper issue than what we see. Mm -hmm. Something is going on internally that nobody is privy to. And so, again, it could be a case of midlife crisis. And, and because she's so caught up in this drama setting, she just has to find a way to always create drama and keep the focus on her. Okay, um, so. But imagine everyone keeps referring to. Um, Benny Ack as um, a TV personality, a TV personality, and they never see you on TV. Obviously, you want to create... How did I become a TV personality we, we if I've never been on TV? Exactly. No, 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 that's not the case in Tonto. <laughs> we call her an actress, but when okay. was the last time you saw Tonto DK in any movie? Yeah, but... Do you understand? Like, mm. so she's trying to stay relevant because what she's known for, she's not relevant right. in that scene anymore. Mm. So this is the only way she can stay... You're saying she's lost her relevance as an actor? Yes. Of course. Yeah, but she, she's acting on the, on the biggest stage right now, the, the world stage, and so she got, she's got to create drama. I mean, okay. all, all the world okay. is a stage, so she's <laughs> creating her own drama. No, she's, she's the producer director of our own live drama on this grand stage I'll right call now. I'll her call a realist life. because she's, she's on a reality <laughs> stage right now. Yeah. So but I honestly <laughs> think um, she needs to get herself together and channel her energy into maybe making a movie or doing something Direct instead of creating producing. all those dramas. And then it's also I mean, been rumored that um, she's still in Dubai because of the ongoing case, because of the fight and all of that. Her passport, her passport was seized and all of that. But she came out to debunk that. So let's see how it goes. I really can't wait for her to get back to Nigeria so she will drop a video and explain all these things. Because why is she still in Dubai? Everybody's back. They all went for the one first, um, but, but that's a choice anyway. Yeah, a lot but of people stay you have, back. <laughs> but if you have um, a job, if you have something you're doing in Nigeria, then you should be back. Because all the actresses and um, actors and all the uh, musicians, they're all back because they have they stuff. Get, they they should get a six months Dubai visa. Yeah, well, maybe. We don't know. Okay. We don't know about that mm. because if it's not a six because months, as a, then as a that's, tourist, it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't, it doesn't exceed, it doesn't mm. exceed a month, four weeks, and so. But did she get like? And it's six been more months? than four weeks, hasn't it? I think it's been more than. Yeah, not the extension for visa, yeah. but as mm. what now? I don't know. I mean, does she have a business? She's, does she have a business in Dubai? If she has a business in Dubai, then well, she, she said she, she owns an apartment now in Dubai. Mm. Then oh then yeah. <laughs> And it was given to her I would take that as a joke. <laughs> so let's see how that goes. Um, what's the name of the place? I think it's in Burj Khalifa. Mm -hmm. I think. <laughs> <laughs> that was right. the state to so let's see how it goes. If that is actually true or that's another audio apartment. It's so audio, I beg. <laughs> it's time for a break, but we will be right back. Stay with us on Tea Time. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I deceive them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Ali Baba? Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. Like I got DM sometimes from <laughs> Malawi. Like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Eva Alodia has been called a failed rapper by Twitter user after she said many artists have allowed themselves to believe that mumbling incomprehensible words over beats with no lyrics is, a catch, is catching a vibe. She further said they caught laziness and not a vibe. A Twitter user, Eric Blaze, then replied, insinuating that she is a failed rapper and asked her to mind her business, and this led to an exchange of words. Bass, Bass Boos. Bass, somebody play me fire, boy. Bass, <laughs> Boos, Bass, Boos. Bass, Boos, and As then... In the second Bass, Boos from that um, particular Twitter user was really hard. I felt but bad I, I, for I her. I love Eva, right? Eva is too. one of the pioneers of um, female right. rap in Nigeria, and I think... 
No, okay, she's not one of the pioneers. I think I'll call Buki and um, Sasha and the likes of them. But when you're talking about view, hardcore kind of rap, I think I'll give it to Eva. And mm. Eva is very, very beautiful. And I think she has actually stamped a name in the sand of time. And that is something she was trying to point out that my name would always be in the history of Nigerian music, and which mm. is so true. But this guy was like... It was not even having it. It wasn't even having it. <laughs> it was like, come on, you need to start at least mumble something on the beat. Let us know mm, if you're still mm, relevant. Mm, 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 but I think she's not doing so much of the music, music anymore. Yeah. I think she does. She has a YouTube page where right, she's yeah. about uh, makeup and all that, mm -hmm. right? Is that what she does now? Yeah. Okay, so I think she does a lot of that and she trains a lot of people on how to be makeup artists and all of that. So I think she's still relevant in her own way and um, if mu music is not for everybody, I keep right. saying. Like, I like, Benia keeps telling me, like, just quit. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let's see how, I don't know, I really don't know. Do you think Eva is still very relevant? Yes, yeah, she is, because she's relevant in what she's doing. She's not just, it's not just about makeup. She's talking on a whole lot of issues, deeper mm -hmm. issues these days mm -hmm. on, on a page. And she jumps on covers. Um, mm. she, she's bringing a whole different different um, vibe and energy to our page. She's talking mm. about life and mm. how we all can get connected in, in, mm. in frequencies, in vibrations, you know, and all of that stuff. If I feel rapper, I totally disagree with that young man. I don't know. He's coming from a very personal place. I don't know. Maybe it's, it's not personal, is, but uh, to be honest, a, if a, who is a failed rapper? Eva just left the music scene. Mm. She just left. Not because she wasn't no, successful. She, she was. She was. She was phenomenal. She was great. She was. She was everywhere. So what, what do you mean? She's a failed rapper. She just stopped music. That's what happened. Mm. There were there were issues with record label. Yeah, contracts. I think that was where the That's whole it. thing started. You know, but as she failed as a as a rapper, I no. totally disagree. I no, she didn't. Disagree. I mean, you know, I, even... I, I think maybe she just decided she just had a switch in mind, and it'd be good to actually bring Eva on the show. Let's let's have a talk with her. Yeah. She's onto a different vibe this day. But to say Eva is a failed rapper. No. And for me, I think people so need to slow down. So who would you call a failed rapper in Nigeria <laughs> presently? Who would you call a Who is a failed rapper That's, in this country? I don't think we should... No, I wanted to call a name. You know, that would be quite relative to just come out and say somebody's mm. a failed rapper. You know, so you don't think we have any failed rapper in Nigeria? No, I don't then? think so. Even, even Idris Abdul Karim, that's why we couldn't even hear most of what he was saying in his own right still. Mm. People still vibe to what he was mm. saying. That's why they were gibberish. We couldn't make, make sense out of what he was saying. I can't say Idris Abdul Karim was a field rapper. Mm. Because I'm sorry, he made he made a whole lot of he made a whole lot of money in his career at mm -hmm. and he was popular. And he so, was signed to the biggest record label at, the at, time. at that point in time. Kenny's yeah. Kenny's music. music, you know. So um, even just switched, I, you know, I don't I don't know why, what informed that decision. Bet me a space is still left unoccupied. She said the um, only me, failure here is his um, lack of history and lack of information. Lack of knowledge uh, For of me, I, I think people need to slow down when it comes to calling somebody a failed uh, musician, a failed blogger, a failed actor. A failed, what is a failed anything? I mean, if I'm doing this and I think that it's not for me, I can always leave. doesn't mean Simple. I'm a mm -hmm. failure. Mm -hmm. People need to know that. I mean, I can, I'm sitting here in front of the camera. Tomorrow I can decide to do something else. Maybe be a, be a tailor doctor. or a doctor. You know, th it doesn't mean I'm a failed presenter. Let's People need to... Let's use Virginia Askew, for instance. Mm. Um, she's now um, uh, um, something nurse. Family, family, family nurse. 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 Mm. And she, she, she blessed her. She graced her screens, you understand? And right now, she's doing something she's passionate about. So mm -hmm. will you call her a failed actor because she's now doing something she's passionate no. about? Mm. She's not, she's not, you can't call her that. So she's still very relevant what yeah. she's doing and then um i attended um the superstar and then a lot of people were asked to mention movies you've seen and more than 10 people mentioned 10 different movies so that's to show you that she's done a lot mm. do you understand so all right so i think um people should really consider who they call a failed this and a failed that uh, yes and the history. question is you yourself what are you doing are you successful at what you're and the doing? guy couldn't even he had so are much type of error doing? that i was wondering that yeah he failed right <laughs> out bro like he's all good so we need to move on to the next story pop icon rihanna has sold a documentary to amazon for the tune of 25 million Dollars. The streaming giant purchased worldwide rights to the Peter Berg-directed film about the documentary. The documentary is an unfiltered look into the singer's life. It has also been reported to be an unparalleled ac access into the singer's life and more than 1,200 hours of footage. The documentary offers private insights into Rihanna's personality, sense of humor, work ethic, family, and love. 
Really Riri is just serious. making money. She's just <laughs> making money. Everybody's saying drop an album. We need she does to not get, care. She's making money. We need money. new music from you, but you can tell she's working like mm, she's working. She's working yeah. at. Um, imagine somebody now calling Rihanna a failed musician because she's not dropping any music. She's not failed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, she's making her money. She's just channeling her energy into something that she wants to mm. do right now. When it's time for her to give us good music, I mean, she would drop it, no pressure, but I'm this sure maybe one, I'm after very this, impressed. Because I said they've been filming this for a while, so mm. I'm sure maybe after this she'll focus on the music again. So now we know what Rihanna has been As up to up all to, this yeah. while. And this is not our first collaboration with um, Amazon now. She yeah. did the Fenty and Savage um, fashion show mm -hmm. with Amazon. I think they had the rights for that yeah. as well. So this is not the first collaboration. So she's been cashing out. I think this and is going Fenty. to be like um, um, Homecoming. Yeah, something. Some, I don't. I. I. Like, we don't know what this. It'll be, it'll yeah, it'll be, be something, something like. But yeah. Homecoming was more into about the music, right? This is about personal life. So she's probably going to be telling us about our relationship with the Saudi Arabian mm. prince and all of that. She'll probably be telling us about drugs. She'll probably be telling us about marijuana and a love for marijuana and all of that. So let's see. I'm. I'm. I can't oh, she wait does to that. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. And she never hated. You don't know that. Mm -mm. Oh, are you yeah? serious? <laughs> I mean, uh, when I was going through the comment section, a lot of people were like, hmm, are you sure we're not just going to be seen as uh, smoking all day? And <laughs> there was a time she was with a Saudi guy and she was smoking marijuana, and mm. then you could tell that he was really upset, like, you know, it's against his religion and all of that, but... <laughs> Well, baby girls living so that life. This, I just want the documentary of my life to give me about, like, 150 million, and so Amazon will buy it. And <laughs> Mike... I mean, that's somebody's life, man. Mm -hmm. 25 million for that's, my life. That's, li that's living, man. Like. And she just released um, a, a photo book mm -hmm. recently, I mean, recently yeah. and it's worth like how many million dollars, yeah. too? And exclusive pictures for tabletops and yeah. stuff like that. So Rihanna is Rihanna rich. is cashing out. <laughs> <laughs> and she has Fenty. You know? She, has, she does the fashion show. She does nothing. She, Rihanna is she's just making um, spreading the, money the tentacles yeah. right now. And then she's making big moves. So big shout out to Rihanna for mm -hmm. doing that. It's time for a break. But when we return, we have one more story to discuss. Stay with us. Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And our final story is on Naira Mali, whose real name is Afiz Fashola. He has been he has been facing trial over an alleged criminal conspiracy and credit card fraud. He was in court based on the ongoing case on Thursday, December 12th. The case was adjourned and the singer will be rearranged by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission on February 27th and 28th, 2020. So well, I'm excited. <sighs> Malian Fest is still it's holding. It's not going to be accepted. <laughs> yeah. you know? like, that's what the Malians and, are saying now. Okay, and, well, next year. we'll yeah, continue yeah, yeah. next year. No right doubt. now, I'm excited that the when show is, like is still holding. When is it or 31st? 30th. 30th. Mm. So, um, first, um, it, I think yesterday when they were in court, um, it was a cross-examination of mm. the prosecutors because of the information they said they found on his laptop. And they were asking them certain questions like, how did they get the password to his computer? And they said, um, being a professional, he doesn't need the password. And they're saying that is it possible for you to, um, what's it called, plant evidence in somebody else's laptop? You since you have that type access, of yeah. access, and it was like, no, no that's not yeah. possible. So I saw a lot of things they asked him, and I really followed up on that. So let's see how this. But I think his lawyers are really smart. Um, Naimali has a very smart lawyer mm. right now because um, the type of questions it was asked, you could tell it's coming from a place of wisdom. You understand? So um, let's see how this whole place, all um, this whole thing plays out because I hope he gets off the hook and he. If he actually did the crime, then he should he do, to the do the time. time yeah. the, um, my problem with this, our criminal justice system is pretty slow. Yeah. You know, and so this this case will drag. That that date is going to come. It will drag into the next year, half of the year. Mm. You know, and so our, the implementation of justice is pretty grinds pretty slow. But um, I want to wish more the best. He seems to be at the top of his career right now. Mm. So um, let's hope he doesn't go behind bars. You know. Speaking speaking of Naira Mali, we, we were having an argument downstairs and someone asked that, do you think um, Zlatan and Naira Mali will still be relevant in 2020? So with the kind of music they do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How? Do you think they will fade out by 2020 or they will still be very much relevant? Mm. Um, do they have timeless music? Timeless music? No. 
they don't. So you they, think they, they, they will fizzle out really they're, they're soon? They're just here for a season. Mm -hmm. For a season. So they I said I give them till 2022. I mean, they're just here for a season. season. Yeah, actually. So, um, <laughs> that, that kind of music is not, it's not evergreen. It's not mm -hmm. music that you want to relate to. It's not Bob Marley. It's not mm -hmm. Two Face. You know, and so, it's not whiskey. You know, they're just here. It's not Fela Nicolas. I mean, their they're kind of just music here, is it's like a, season, a trend. It's seasonal. Yeah. That's it. You know, we had that trend of Shaku Shaku. And then now it's just a trend. It will go. And all of that. It's a fad. I mean, and fat, fat goes away with time. So, mm -hmm. yes, while they're at it, let them enjoy the fame and the But fortune. I think Naira Mali can stay relevant. He just needs to switch it up because if yeah. you listen to the old Naira Mali, actually, you will know that Naira Mali is he, actually. He, he has been there since. He's That's also a very good rapper. Mm -hmm. I think on the track, um, David O featured him on, he rapped on that song. And then right? it, it sounded so different. Yeah, from it sounded the regular so different. So Naira Mali can do different mm -hmm. sounds, but this is what is working for him and putting food on his table. So that's. And I don't know, what, we're having a conversation. I was telling you that. I, really, I I don't think this is aim. What is putting out there is not aim. It's just putting out what will bring attention and money to his mm. table. So Naramali can switch it up at any time and me. It's Latin is trying, but it's not it's as far as I'm concerned, it's not working. But <laughs> okay, that's 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 my opinion. So right. don't come. No, not me. necessarily your opinion. <laughs> yeah. We can go we can go back to we can go back to um we can go back as far back as like 10, 15 years ago. There was there was somebody called Daddy Shoki. There was somebody called Baba Frayo. Mm. There was yeah, there yeah, people yeah, called that, um, uh, Mad Melon. Mm. They, they, their music was just for that mm. for a for season. season. So that all these young cats, most of them is just seasonal music. They're, they're gonna fade. Right. Okay, so we gotta go. It's time to say have a great weekend and thank you for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Outer TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always goes to my co anchors, Elwari 2 and Benny, Benny Ak, for their intelligent contributions. And the entire production team, Miami Fellow Walsh and Care, saying peace and love.